Hello, this is Bobby Cooper, and I'm going to do a video for Departed, uh, for partitioning the hard drive to accept Q4OS Linux. Departed is a Linux partition manager, and we'll go over the layout of the partitions here. A SDA would be the first hard drive. If there was a second hard drive, it would be SDB. Now these numbers may change. Um, a USB thumb drive would come up as SDB. But if the USB thumb drive is only drive in the system, it will come up as an SDA. So you can see here, I have SD1, 2, 3, and then it doesn't show it because it can't probably list them. But the SDA1 is actually a NTFS Windows 7 partition on my eMachine laptop at 140 gigabytes or about. You can see I've used 50 gigabytes and I have it about 90 and not used and it's set for a boot flag. Now the boot flag would be set for a USB drive also, or a USB thumb drive. If you don't set that on a USB, USB uh, thumb drive or you drive, it won't boot. The BIOS won't see it. So the second one is SDA2. Now this is a second partition. SDA is all being the same hard drive. SDA2 second partition is also an NTF S drive. This is where I keep my data files for my eMachine. Plus I share the, sorry about that, plus I share the data from here to my Linux distribution work. You can see that size is about 55 gigabytes and I've used about half of it, a little more. Then the, the SDA3 is the extended four partition. I'd have to look that up to see what that is, but I know that the SDA4 here is an extended partition, 144 megabytes. And the key here to remember is when you're doing these partitions that there's a maximum of four primary partitions. And the extended partition is considered a primary partition. So if I had a uh, another NTFS here and I did um, another uh, EX extended four, um, I couldn't put an extended partition here to allow more partitions below. Or the for say for example I had two NTFS, uh, one AX extended four, and a swap, Linux swap on there, I could not add another partition because the extended partition is, at, uh, is considered a primary partition. So what we need to do is that we'll put in three primaries, which all these are, and add the extended partition. Um, and I'll show you down here just with the one, uh, I'm sorry, 25 gigabytes I have uh, left on this drive. I'll show you that process in a second. So we'd have three primaries right here, the SDA1, 2, and 3, an extended partition, and then these are all logical partitions just like uh, you would do in, in a Windows uh, environment. So you have a primary, and extended, and then from 5 all the way down 8 and 9 are um, logical partitions and then we have the Linux swap file. And the Linux swap file, the recommendations are 30 gigabytes uh, for the Linux the ex extended for partition that you'll be running your Q4S on right. and a Linux swap file of at least 8 gigabytes. This one I'm running a little high at 17. I can always squeeze that down in the future. So let's get into and, and uh, one, th oh, one thing to remember. If you ever are going to resize a Windows partition and you'll need to if you want to install this uh, alongside your Windows uh, XP or 7, you'll need to first uh, delete all unnecessary files. I do a search and then of all files in the hard drive, uh, desktop, and I 
uh, then I click the size uh, 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 column so that the larger files show at the top and then I start deleting all the files that I don't need. Second thing is you want to run defrag from this you can just click start search and type defrag d-e-f-r-a-g and run that program what that does when it defrags it moves any um, any files that are defragged or segregated away from other files all toward uh, the uh, toward the fat table or all combines them where they're um, at the larger part of the drive or partition their data is not there so that way you're able to squeeze the uh, driver reduce the size and you would do that in Windows I recommend that you go into the system administrator tools and um, find the uh, computer management and then the storage and you'll find where you can actually uh, real similar to somewhat like this where you can actually resize that partition and make it smaller and say if, but the thing is you got to consider if the drive is has uh, say 50 gigabytes on it of uh, Windows data uh, data and programs um, I would give I would still leave 10 to 20 gigabytes there if possible depending what size drive you have so as long as you can get 30 gigs um, for the Q4 OS um, installation and you have that 8 gigabytes so you need about 40 gigabytes total so you have to reduce that uh, hard drive to f at least 40 gigabytes down once you can do that then don't do anything with the unallocated leave it like it is and you'll want to reboot the computer make sure Windows is still working okay and it should be once that's done then you go ahead and insert uh, um, put the uh, Q4S live CD and the CD-ROM drive and uh, reboot uh, uh, the system out of Windows and you'll bring up uh, the installer for Q4S and I'll do a video on how to get to this part and where it's key part it looks just like this so back to this so after you have uh, got your Windows system uh, deleted some files defragged and reduce the size of your uh, primary partition so you have at least 40 gigabytes spare space or uh, unallocated space you know, you'll finally get to here after and during the installation so we're gonna go to here unallocated I got 25 gigabytes just to show you what it's like so I quick I click on that and I would click and you also may I mention is that if you have uh, partitions here like I have the 129 a gigabyte partition here which I really don't want it is but I'm, I'm sure there's a reason um, I'll go ahead and look at that and um, I think that's my personal uh, Q4 OS running so I can actually uh, reduce this size within gparted and, and then I can also use uh, uh, that space uh, for a swap uh, file possibly uh, but I have to do some job probably I'll delete this NTFS and I'll make another um, either swap file up here and then uh, or another uh, extended for and run another version of uh, Q4OS and uh, so but right now we're going to go ahead and click on unallocated which is I got 25 gigabytes to play with so I'm going to click on new and I don't have to have I only have to have one swap file for all of these installations of Q4OS all of these uh, uh, non NTFS uh, partitions other than the swap file and the extended are Q4OS uh, 1.45 and on this machine it's the x64 bit it's an Intel dual uh, core 64-bit uh, architecture so once we uh, go ahead and select the unallocated and we uh, create a click on uh, new we come up to the create new partition and this is we're going to create a new partition using the unallocated space right here so we don't want to use it all we only need about I'm gonna put this about 12 gigabytes because that's what I use just to modify my my version of Q4S and it's a logical partition you can see you can't get a primary extended because they're already taken and it's gonna be a logical and you're gonna use an uh, extended for partition and what you lose you'll label this to what it is now I've got to work on my version I'm gonna try and get it so that all these uh, labels show up uh, any time the G party is running so um, we're going to set the label on this one is um, um, Bobby's uh, example like that and the label uh, should be um, 
uh, all lowercase. Uh, let's see. Um, I think here. Okay. I don't worry about the alignment, and um, it automatically reduces from the Mac, uh, the current available space when I type in the 12,000 uh, 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 megabytes, uh, which is 12 gigabytes, uh, gear plus. Um, it automatically tells you what's left. So there's another 13 uh, or 14, almost 14 gigabytes here. So I'm going to click Add, and then it's going to um, basically it's set in a queue. It tells you it's going to create a logical partition on number one, uh, extended for 11.72 gigabytes on the SDA drive. That's the first drive. And you can see um, where it says new partition here, like that. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll click Apply, and then I'll run the queue. And I, I like to do each uh, command one at a time and click Apply. You can put multiple uh, instructions in here. Um, and I don't know what other people would recommend, but I just like to do it one at a time. So um, what it's doing now is that the Key4OS has detected uh, a new drive Basically, the partitions created and formatted, and so the um, open uh, uh, window for the drive uh, pops up, and then you'll see it flash up and down at the bottom. It's not a big deal. So after that's done, it says all operations successfully uh, completed. I'll click close, and now we'll see. It'll take a second here, and we will see that uh, we now have a. Uh, it's still working. It's researching the down here is researching the uh, SDA partitions. And if it had more than one drive, we would search those too. So now it's done, okay? So it's created a, uh, a new partition called SDA, uh, or the actual device uh, name is SDA10, uh, extended for, and it's probably an example, it's 11.72 gigabytes, okay? So that's all set. Now, if I was going to install this is one key thing when you don't have to set the boot flag on uh, on the Linux, but what you do have to do is that during the installation, the last thing you do after you do this is you have to right click, right click the new partition, and you're going to set the uh, uh, where it's going to be located. So in other words, you you would set you can't see it from here but it would allow you to set it for uh, root, which is just the forward slash, just like I set right here. See where the forward slash is right there. Or you can set it at forward slash home if you had one of these to have all your home files or the user of, say, SDA 10 would have home files in another partition. That is the possibility. I don't recommend it for new users. Uh, you might want to read up on it and find out exactly why. So this concludes my uh, example of setting up um, uh, a partition in uh, Gparted for the installation part of Q4S. Uh, I will do a more advanced um, uh, Gparted video that will explain on deleting uh, partitions, um, resizing within uh, this part of it, which I've been showing you. And thank you for watching. Oh, do check out my uh, my uh, version of. Uh, the Q4OS, which is at mylibeos.com.